Hi there, once again, welcome to my channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time visiting my channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to deactivate your Facebook account either permanently or temporarily. Okay, there might be there may be several reasons why you may like to disable your Facebook account. One of those reasons could be that your Facebook ad account has been what disabled. So you cannot run ad on Facebook. If you're a businessman, you have several Facebook pages. When you have that kind of issue, you've applied, you try every means and it's not working. Then you may have to create a different account and use that account as your ad account. So I'm experiencing that and I want to actually create a new account. So I want to show you how to disable your main account and then create a new account. And then you can link it to your old Facebook page and then start running ad. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So stay tuned for this. Okay, so in order to do that, just click on your account and then go to what? Settings and privacy. And then after that, click on settings again. And after clicking on settings, go to your Facebook information. So click on that Facebook information. And then after clicking on Facebook information, you have option to disable your account. You have deactivate and delete. Okay, so you have temporary deactivate or permanent delete your account. So just click on view. And then from this option, you now have the decision in your own hands whether to deactivate. That is going to be temporary, which means that you can activate it later on. But in this case, I want to permanently delete this because I have a different account. So in order to do that, I'll go to a delete account. So you can see when you use Tempra, your account will be disabled and your name and photos will be removed from your things. Everything you shared, every information will be shared. But once you delete it permanently, your account will be removed from Facebook. So let's go to deactivate that delete account. That's going to be permanent and click on continue to delete. So click on that. And you can see there are several options over. Keep your messenger deactivate instead. Download your information. So if you want to keep a record of information, you can go ahead and then download them. You can transfer your information, copy of your information, all that. Personally, I don't want to do any of this. So I'll just go ahead and then click on delete account. So it's going to ask you to provide your password in order to confirm that. Okay. So let me just type my password and then continue with that. So I'm done with my password and I'll just click on continue. And you can see confirm permanent account deletion. So we have the information over here. When I click on delete, so we have 30 days. So if you read, if you can see the right up over, I say you are about to permanently delete your account. If you, if you are ready to delete it, click delete account. Once you have submitted your account for deletion, you have 30 days to reactivate your account. So within 30 days, if you don't reactivate this account, it will permanently delete it from Facebook. But if you change your mind within 30 days, then you can reverse this action. Okay. In my case, I want to go ahead and delete this account. So I'll click on delete. So you just have to wait for some time to process this. So it will bring you to your normal page. As you can see, your account is scheduled for deletion. So this is going to take 30 days. If you've not done any action, then this is going to be deleted permanently from Facebook. Subscribe for more tips on Facebook, more tips on IT and social media and other amazing stuff. Like and share this video with friends. Like, come your way again. Bye-bye.